I am Lucas, and we are your news reporters for today. Today's breaking news is the repealing of the 18th Amendment. The 18th Amendment is the prohibition of alcohol. Will they repeal the law or will they fail to repeal the law? Now let's hand the mic to our on-team reporters in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Angela and Stephanie. Hi, I'm Morgan, and right now I'm going to interview a history professor who can give us a quick summary of prohibition. Oh, my name is Will Anderson, history professor uh, of the Washington, D.C. Artifact Art Archives, WAA for short. And today I'll give you a quick summary about prohibition. The 18th, 18th Amendment, uh, or January 16th, 1919, the 18th Amendment is approved to one to ban alcohol. January 17th, 1920, Prohibition starts in the USA. October 24th, 1929, stock market crash. And December 5th, 1933, Prohibition ends. Thank you, Will. Back to you, Caitlin. Thank you, Lucas. Hello, I'm Stephanie Brooks, and I am your on-site reporter for today. We are, I am in Washington, D.C., and I am here to interview people who are trying to change the law of prohibition. I am also here to discuss the law. There are a lot of people who want to change the law of the 18th Amendment, but we are going to speak to one special guest. They're going, we're going to hear the timeline of prohibition of alcohol from another special person in college. Right now, I'm going to ask some people here in Washington, D.C. about prohibition. Right now, I'm going to ask some people here in Washington, D.C. about prohibition. Hi, what's your name? What do you think about the repeal of the 18th Amendment? My name is Melanie. I think the repeal of the 18th Amendment is a great thing because the, um, the police doesn't have to, the government doesn't have to waste their money by catching the people that drinks and then drives and makes accidents. Thank you, Melanie. Hello. Can you please tell me your name and what do you think about the repeal of the 18th Amendment? Hello, my name is Isabella. I think the 18th Amendment is just fine the way it is. We are okay to catch all these people. Well, there is not enough people and it costs a lot of money for the accidents. Well, our police might just fine with this law because we are getting paid for this. <laughs> I don't think this is uh, this is for money. I think this is for the government. I think that thanks for speaking with us, Isabella. And now we're back to you, Morgan. Hi, I'm Paige, and I'm going to be interviewing Morgan and Tom about their opinions about prohibition. What do you think about prohibition? I think that it's the best idea that we've seen in years. John Calvin Coolidge is a genius. Okay, thanks. What do you think about prohibition, Tom? I think prohibition is a bad idea because there are too many people in jail that have been seen drinking alcohol. The, there, the people that have been drinking alcohol are now in jail and it's overflowing. Please take prohibition back. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is amazing. We just debated on whether to repeal the 18th Amendment. The three branches work together by passing the law to each branch so they can approve it. I wonder what the government is going to do next. This is the end of our discussion on the repeal of the 18th Amendment. See you next time on Channel 10 News. Hope you enjoyed the 18th Amendment. Thanks for watching Channel 10 News.